So now I'm going to talk about what makes a successful day trader. Um, I've always been into Forex day trading. Um, at one stage I was doing it quite often and I felt, you know, there's a lot of money to be made. There's, you know, it's bigger than the actual stock market. Um, billions of pounds go around, no, it's trillions of pounds go around every, um, you know, every day I traded. I think it's about three trillion, um, so it's a huge amount. And I wanted to know what exactly, you know, studying the wealthy people, or the people that make big money on the stock market and the, the forex market, I want to know what makes them, you know, successful. Now, there's a few things that I've seen and how you can actually be successful in it. Um, first of all, is having a lot, having a lot of money. Now, I know a lot of people get started and they put in a 200 pound, and it's highly unlikely you're going to convert that all the way up. Usually, people put in, you know, a few thousand, maybe 20, 30 thousand, um, and they go from there and then build it up. Now, they don't blow all their money on one trade as well, which is a high, high thing that a lot of people do. Um, it's high risk, high reward, you can blow your whole account. Now, what they do, they watch and they study certain trades. So, it's, uh, they keep up to date with the news, they watch it for about a month, and they don't trade every day. They're called day traders, but they don't trade every day. They probably make three to five trades a month. Now, if they know that there's gonna be an economic announcement, they will probably put all their eggs in one basket and use a small percentage of their portfolio. And they do something called hedging, which is they put a bet down or they place a trade. Um, let's say it's, you know, European, um, you know, or the dollar to the pound. They put it down and once they see it gradually fall, they double up, they triple up, and then until they pull all their money out. So they don't risk everything straight away. They won't put 10 grand down, they'll put one grand down, then two grand, then five grand, and then the rest down. Um, that's called hedging your, obviously, hedging your bets. Um, that's probably the best way they do it. Um, going from there, another thing is, it's a small percentage of their portfolio they invest. Now, they would only bet 5% of their portfolio if they're gonna make 15% off. They usually put 1% down and try and get about seven to 10%. Now with us, or the amateurs or the newbies, we tend to put 100% down and try and get five back where we lose all our 100%. Now there is knowledge in it, it's a lot of research going into it. And they say it takes about two years or 10,000 hours studying the stock market, trading Forex to actually get good at it. There's no way you can do it overnight. There's no course you can probably buy. There's no graphs you can really read. That just comes with everything else. So my advice to us and to me, I'm no way of professional at stock trading. Um, I'm a long-term investor in the stock market, but Forex, no, I am studying it. Um, and that's the common traits I see from people actually trading the money. 